Hey, RCA Church family, it's Pastor Kevin. I hope you're doing well today. Hey, just wanted to come to you, bring you a word of encouragement uh, on this Tuesday, and uh, just let you know that we're still here for you. We still love you. If you tuned into our message on Sunday, you saw that I spoke on contagious. And of course, we're all aware the coronavirus right now is just so contagious, continues to spread. But you know what? There's more that's contagious than the coronavirus right now. And I want to speak to you about that. You know, we are carriers. I want you to think about that. You're a carrier of some things right now in your own life. What you have, other people around you are going to get. So it's important to ask ourselves, you know, what are we carrying? And, and do we really want to spread what we have to other people? Now, again, I'm not talking about coronavirus. I would not wish that on you for the world. We're praying that you, you will not get that, that that will not come near your house. But I do think we need to be conscious during this season because there's a lot of things that are contagious. Fear is contagious. Hatred is contagious. Doubt is contagious. And you know, a lot of you are facing some challenges and circumstances right now that those emotions want to well up within you. But I just want to encourage you, church, also faith is contagious. Also love is contagious. Also hope is contagious. And let's focus on those things. You know, as I said on Sunday, it, it brings us right back down to Paul's words to the church in Thessalonica. We see in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, Paul is talking to the church and he says, We always thank God for all of you and pray for you continually. We just want you to know that we here at the church, myself and Jody, the staff, we are praying for you guys, lifting you guys up in prayer during this season. So this prayer is really our prayer for you. He goes on to verse 3 and he says, We pray to our God and Father about you, and we think of your faithful work, your loving deeds, and your enduring hope because of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is so good. That is our prayer for you during this season. And it reminded me of the three points that I shared on Sunday, the marks of a contagious Christian. Let me, let me just share with those, uh, those with you real quickly and kind of how they're impacting our lives right now. Number one, faithful work. Listen, thank you for your prayers. Uh, we have felt them. We rely on them to continue to move and operate in the guidance and direction and wisdom of the Holy Spirit during this season. Your prayers make a difference, and they have been felt. Keep them coming. Thank you for your selfless giving. Many of you are continuing to give and continue to be obedient to the Lord, even when you're facing your own financial challenges. And we just want to say thank you. It's making a difference. It's helping the kingdom of God continue to go forward during this season. We want to thank you for your continued uh, help and support in ministry. Some of you guys are continuing to teach classes. Some of you are helping us put our broadcast out on the air. Some of you are doing lots of things behind the scenes to, to make and ensure that the ministry of RCA Church continues to go forward. Thank you for that. And also thank you to all of you for inviting uh, people to be uh, involved and, and part of the ministry right now. You've done that by sharing on Facebook. You've done that by subscribing on YouTube. You've done that because you've helped us get the word out. I've said in earlier videos, it's easier right now to be an evangelist than ever before. And so every time you share, every time you subscribe, it helps that. And so we just thank you for continuing to do that faithful work. See, you didn't think you were doing anything. You thought you were just hanging out at home. But you've been faithful in the work of the Lord and the work of the kingdom right here at RCA Church. Thank you for that. The second thing is loving deeds. We've got some exciting things about loving deeds. Just this past Saturday, our face mask outreach. Many of you participated and dropped face masks off at the church. Some of you bought some and brought them by. And, and that was wonderful. We had over 300 face masks come in. And we've been able to bless folks in our community with them. You'll see a picture on the screen of the Granite Quarry Police Department and the Fire Department. They were in need of masks. We were able to drop some off there at their location. Then we have some folks in our congregation that work at the Autumn Care uh, here of Salisbury right down the street and some of their key in employees, some of their key workers uh, only have one mask and so we're, we were able to kind of replenish their supplies so you know their mask didn't get so dirty and grungy all the time they had another one they could change into and then here's one that really lights my fire the meadows down in Rockwell they were in urgent need of face mask and we were able to go and bless them with some face masks you see a picture of that as well just so excited about what we're doing this during this time this coronavirus crisis that our loving deeds are still going out 
And you know what? Tomorrow, that's going to be a big day for this Loving Deeds because from 4 to 6 p.m., we're partnering with the Hot Dog Shack and we're feeding anybody in need in our community. We're so excited to just be able to share the love of Jesus with people during this season. Loving Deeds, thank you, church, for stepping up to the plate and letting your light shine during this season. And the last thing is our enduring hope. So we see that, that we have that faithful work that you've been doing. You see those loving deeds are going out. Now it's that enduring hope. I love this quote from Corey Tim Boom. She says, in order to realize the worth of the anchor, we need to feel the stress of the storm. You know, I'm sure you're feeling the stress of the storm right now. I am. The, the, many of the staff are. I'm sure you are. Your families. I'm sure this is a stressful time in a lot of ways. But listen, I just want to encourage you with that quote from Corey Ten Boom. We have an anchor that is secure. In fact, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19 says this, We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Listen, our hope in Jesus Christ is firm and secure. The Lord, this, this coronavirus crisis did not take God by surprise, and he's with us through the fire, through the storm, and his, the anchor of hope that we have in him will hold, church. I encourage you with that word today because, listen, after all, we're supposed to be different, right? We're not citizens of this world. We are citizens of heaven, and we're going to be different in faith over fear as we walk forward through this crisis. The next couple of days, just a quick update. we got some great things happening tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Tune in with me for a watch party. If you miss Sunday service, I'll be there on Facebook. You can chat with me in the comments. We'll love to see you there. Also, Scott is going to be leading the youth Zoom meeting at 7 p.m. And then I'll be back on Thursday with another devotion. I encourage you guys to tune in for all that. Until then, listen, share. Uh, our content on Facebook. Subscribe. We need just a few more subscribers. Please subscribe on uh, our YouTube channel. And just know that, that we understand we can't get together and kind of do church right now, but we still are the church. We can still be the church. And so just know, RCA family, we love you. We're praying God's peace, God's protection, and God's provision on you. We're here for you. We love you. We miss you. We can't wait to get together soon. But call us, email us, send us a text. Uh, let us hear from you online. And uh, just let us know how you're doing. If you need anything, please let us know. God bless you. We love you guys.